Hi, welcome to Educator.com, and we have another a lesson today in Adobe Illustrator CS6, and today we're going to talk about symbols. So let's get right into it, shall we? So there are various tools we can use um, once we create a symbol. Uh, it's the sprayer tool, the shifter tool, the scruncher, the sizer, the spinner, the stainer, the screener, the styler, and nine slice. So as you can see, most of these things begin with an S. So you got symbols, symbols, and symbols, symbols begin with an S. So, so let's see how many S words we can come with throughout the course of this uh, uh, lesson. Okay. Let's get our little objects here. So first, uh, let's create a symbol and let's group this. Uh, make our little apple a symbol here. So let's go to a symbol. So there's two ways to create a symbol. One, you can go here, uh, new symbol or you can just drag it and the same dialog will, be, will come up if if I had clicked new symbol so I'll just name this Apple and none of the other things you really have to worry about because movie clip uh, refers to a flash so if you're just using this to illustrate you don't have to worry about changing any of this a registration either I and mean, if just for some reason you want to change the registration mark to to a corner you know do it but basically, you can leave everything here, you know, as is. Um, okay, so just click OK, and you're done. So here's uh, my symbol right here. And also, this became a symbol, but you can see now it's no longer a path. There's no anchor points or anything. So this, so this is called the instance of a symbol. So the symbol is in the, the symbol uh, palette, and the instance of the symbol is what you put on your artboard or stage. Uh, as, as it may be. So now once you have a symbol, you can do quite a bit with it. And that's what the, from the symbolism tools that are available. So you see on the drop down menu, these are all the ones that we have. So let's say uh, use a sprayer tool and I'll start spraying the symbols. And whoa, those are kind of large. Okay, because it's just as large as what I created here. So, uh, there's two ways you could change the size. One um, is to double click on the symbol to isolate it. Oops, I don't want to do give that one because I used the sprayer tool there. Oops, all together now. Okay, so let me just do that. Okay, so I can double click here. So it tells me I'm about to edit the symbol. And so what I want to do, and you can see here's the registration mark here, and the symbol is still editable, so which is good. So I just want to make that smaller, kind of put that back in the center. Okay, so now it's symbol, and just to show you that not only is it editable, let me just put a little uh, stroke around here, a little path. So now that will appear with the symbol too. So let me just go back. So now I'm here. So now when I drag the symbol, oops. Am I, okay, on the wrong layer. Now I drag the symbol. And you can see this little stroke is there also, and it's a smaller size. And let me go back to our symbol sprayer. Let's go to our stupendous sprayer tool. Uh, first S word. Okay, so you see it's smaller also, but also with the sprayer tool, you can see the little circle around it, which shows us the, the brush size. And I can use the bracket tool just what we do with brushes to make that smaller and create smaller tools there. Okay, now 
you have many options. Get rid of some of these things.